we're going from here at Epcot, where we have come, because some very exciting and very new things are on the horizon. Mm. What do you think, Goo? See, there's an excitement in the air. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of new stuff happening out here at Epcot. There's a lot of new things in the works. There's exciting things big. There's exciting things new. Yep. And it's all here at Epcot. There's going to be new merchandise, maybe some food, and the new Pass Holder Lounge has yeah. also appeared. So Pass Holder Days has officially started here at Walt Disney World. So as annual Pass Holders, we're going to bring you guys along for a really fun Pass Holder adventure. The excitement is in the air. It is palpable. You can like smell it if you... Yeah. It's there. So with that being said, I think we're going to head in. We're going to go do some stuff and we're going to take you guys along. And as is ritual, for a GooTube video here at Epcot, we're gonna take a look at the line for Spaceship Earth, because that usually gives you kind of like an indication yeah. of how busy the rest of the park is well, gonna be. Right it looks long, but that's just because they don't have like any of the indoor yeah. queue open. I bet it's five minutes, just well, like it says. It's 2.55 right now. Yeah, so. yeah. I'll say like later in the day, everyone goes here first thing. Mm -hmm. So like later in the day kind of thins out a little bit. So there you go. You can see there is a lot of entertainment over here by the front of the park. Daisy is meeting right there. You can kind of hear the jam others in the background. I was hoping to catch the new Communicore acrobats or whatever they're called. Yeah, the, Apparently they only come out certain days. Or whatever they're called. Yeah, yeah. I think they only come out, was it Wednesday through, or Saturday through Wednesday. Something days. like that. I don't know, so, weird days. Yeah. Either way, there's lots of excitement around the park. This will be pretty fun. Yeah, we'll come back to catch them yeah. another day. You can see out here in front of Creations, they have this queue set up. This is to pick up your annual pass holder magnet, the new one. The, I think it's the stitch one. There's not that much of a line right now, but you can see what they expect it to get to going all the way down here around the corner over there. It does get pretty long. I was here the other day and the line was like wrapping all around. Yeah, it's yeah. It's kind of crazy, but Epcot's kind of the center of all the pass holder perks they're doing right now. So yeah, yeah. You get your magnet, you get the lounge, so I guess we'll just kind of see what happens. And speaking of the lounge, I did hear that that is a secondary location that you can get your magnet. Yeah. So instead of waiting in both lines, I think I'm just going to get my magnet at the, at lounge. the lounge. Yeah, yeah you already got his magnet, yeah, but I, I still got to get mine. Day, so. yeah. As we venture further into Epcot, I think the best course of action is to go straight towards Morocco because I heard a rumor that sometimes they are doing virtual queues for the um, Passolio Lounge. Oh. So if they are doing a virtual queue, I feel like we need to get on it. That's true. And then we can go do whatever we want. Well, I feel like that's our first order of business. We'll yeah. see what happens there. I, I guess we'll just kind of go from there. Yeah, we'll go take a look. We'll join the virtual queue, and then you can go look at your useless junk or whatever yeah. it is that yeah. you want to do. There you go. No, no, Goop. Straight. We don't have time for useless junk. I want to look at the To the Passover Lounge. To the lounge. Now, I will say videos I have seen recently and pictures I've seen. I've had the Passover Lounge line coming all the way out here. And I don't see that right now. So that means either we're about to get really lucky or there's a virtual queue. I think it's probably the latter. Probably. They're always doing construction back in this area. I don't know what all this is about. Just as I predicted, they are using the virtual queue system here. But that being said, it is pretty simple. You just go over there, give them your phone number and your name, and then once you do get called, you come over here and you tell them your name and you give them your pass, and they'll let you in. That being said, it is only a 30 minute wait, so it really shouldn't be that bad at all. Hey, you think you're excited? Yeah, this is exciting. Yeah. I feel like I've seen pictures and things online, but I'm excited to see what it looks like for myself. It'll be fun to bring you guys along too, so it'll be good. And it looks like we now have been called. They sent the text message, so we're gonna head in. This is very exciting. You didn't even tell me about the text message. It just happened. Oh. I'm ready for a free drink. Well, we'll get our free drink. We'll show you guys along. I think it'll be pretty good. Right. Thank you so much. We have finally made it inside, and it is pretty neat here. You can see over here they have a variety of snacks and drinks. I think some green tea, some nuts, some Chex Mix. Looks like some water. Then over here they have a special character. You can see right now it's Genie. I think I heard that it's usually either Genie or Jafar, but they don't say who it is, so who knows? That could always change. They say it's like a mystery character or something like that. They do have a fair amount of seating, but I did want to show up here. Just around over here they have these little lockers. Look at this, you can put your phone in it. You can charge it and it locks so nobody can come take your phone. They have these bigger lockers, so I guess you can put a few phones in them. 
Very nice addition. There's Genie going away for now. Very cool. I got a Genie interaction without waiting in line. Yeah. That was good. I did hear the cast member say he's not coming back out until 4.25. Oh. So I guess he's not here all the time. It's only so, 4 right now. Yeah, so I guess it's kind of not. They probably have a set schedule. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure they do. I'd say the lounge is open only until 8 p.m. Yeah, from so. noon to 8. You get yourself a snack. Yeah, I got some um, tropical trail mix. Wow. There you go, the peanut guy. Nice guy. Yeah, looks pretty good. Yeah. I mean, it's pretty simple, but it's a nice thing to have here. Yeah, sure. nice place to relax. I do like that they're doing the virtual queue now, even just for like a 30 minute wait. Because if you're going to wait in line for 30 minutes or even up to an hour, that kind of defeats the purpose of the lounge. Like, you're here to lounge and relax, not wait in another line. You know, Grigu. goo. Mm. These are good. They also gave us this neat pin coming in. Very nice. I'll say, although we have been here for the Florida Boot Lounge, it's very cool to just look around and like see a place that's like, it's not open, like it's wow. not a restaurant right yeah, now. This used to be a yeah. restaurant. But it's really cool, so this used to be a restaurant. Marrakeesh or Marrakeesh or something like that, it. whatever it is. But yeah. I do appreciate that they're kind of like putting banners up, they're kind of putting some things to kind of go with the theme in. You have um, the genie, which kind of makes sense with like the Morocco. Mm. So I appreciate that, and it's, it's just a nice place. You get some air conditioning. It's kind of weird that so many people are showing up for this, and that's it's such a big long wait time. But I think if it was the way it's meant to be, and if like it wasn't as popular, this would be a nice little perk to have here. Yeah. But over here is where you will meet the genie, and right across from it is where they do have a variety of different drinks and snacks. They have some Chex Mix. They have some peanuts. They also do have a Moroccan mint tea. And then they have like some water fountain or water drink cups. So pretty simple, but pretty nice to have here. I also really do love the Passler logo on this tablecloth. This is great. Well, I have enjoyed a good amount of these peanut things. Yeah. I, I, I went up again and I went up a couple other yeah, times. Like yeah. Mags. Well, I mean, it's good. You can get a snack, you can relax, enjoy the atmosphere. Yeah, get a drink. Yep. Yeah. If you expect too much of this, you'll probably be disappointed. But if you come expecting like what you've had for the past lounges, it's exactly the same. Mm -hmm. And I feel like it does exactly what you want it to do. It's better than the last one. Better yeah. Than last year. Yeah. So thumbs up for Yeah. Me. Thumbs up. And that being said, I think I'm gonna grab some more water and then I think after this I think we're gonna head out and then just go somewhere else. Yeah, go look for some other stuff. There's a lot going on. For you yeah. I wanna look at some new merchandise. So, so we're just gonna look around, see what we run into. Should be a really fun day today. But that was good. That was the Pass Solar Lounge here at Epcot. What do you think? I thought it was pretty decent. Yeah. Yeah. Like I said, thumbs up from Yeah, me. but we I did I noticed something. What's that? They didn't have the magnets. Oh that's true, yeah. Yeah. I thought somebody else said that this was a place you could redeem your magnet. Yeah. I was not able to redeem my magnet, so yeah. now I gotta go back to creations. We gotta go there in a way to get out. But I guess it's something that's not happening all the time. Maybe just Maybe it happened yesterday yeah. for the first day or anything. Who knows? But yeah. they're not doing it now. Yeah. Looking at the wait times, the crowds really aren't too terribly busy right now. All like your average shorter wait times are like 10 minutes or something, but Mission Space is 45, Soren's 45, longest wait's Remy. What do you think? You want to wait for something? I don't know. We were talking about maybe doing Test Track. Yeah, since Test Track is closing soon, apparently. So, I think so. yeah, we'll, we'll, talk, we'll talk more about that as we go there. But we're just kind of, as of now, just strolling a little bit of World Showcase. I don't know. We'll see what we end up doing. It looks like they still do have plenty of merchandise for the festival, and as you can see here and in Creations, 30% off select flower and garden items. Are you going to get your cup? Oh, yeah. This is so cool <laughs> because you can squeeze oranges and make orange juice. Yeah. So it's only like $15, like additional discounts apply, so if you're in old pass, this is a good bargain. I also do like this hat. Don't you have that? Yeah, I do. I I'm think just, you got it, yeah. I'm just showing it. It's very fun. Very nice. Ornaments, pretty much everything. Most of these things are included in the 30% off, yeah. which is very good. I like how the um the orange uh, spaceship looks. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. That's really cool. Another thing we really need to do someday that we keep talking about is this dining package at the Regal Eagle. So it's 36 stars. It includes an entree and a drink and guaranteed seating. Yeah. For whatever show is happening over in the, the um, the theater there. Me, I'm not like none of the shows I'm super passionate about. Goo is uncultured. Yeah. So he doesn't know who any of these people are. That's a simple way to put it. Yeah. yeah. But I will say, like, if you're coming for, um, what was it, Candlelight or um, Broadway series? Yeah. They also offer it for those too. Which they is do, yeah. Cool. Yeah. 
Here in the Italy store, it does look like they must be out of the lug bags. Yeah. They don't have any of them. This is kind of the design of the lug bag. Yeah, so that was the same idea. These aren't lug ears. Mm -hmm. It's lug, kind of the same design. Yeah, yeah. But this whole collection is very fun. I love that with each lug bag, they're kind of debuting more merchandise. Yeah, yeah. So, very nice hat. Very nice. That being yeah. said, this lug bag has been out for a while, yeah. so it's not like oh, it's... Oh, that's fun. Oh, that is pretty yeah, cool. Yeah, on the back yeah. of the hat. But it's not like the bag is brand new, so... Yeah. I do love this. Look at this. It's an ornament of Via Napoli. Mm -hmm. And if you turn it around, there's Mickey and Minnie inside getting oh, that's pizza. Cool. That's so fun. How much is this? $34. This one's neat. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, Mickey on the boat. It would be cool to make like a tree and like have a, a pavilion, each pavilion's ornament. Mm -hmm. That's pretty nice. I do love this art with Mickey wearing like the hat. I think that's just so, so much fun. something from the Italy booth goo for the no, festival. No, I don't. Why not? The Italy booth is not good. Yeah. I've never had a very good experience with it. It but, started to go uphill a little bit and we thought yeah. we had some hope, but it's gone again. It's just, it's terrible. Like how, one thing for something to be consistent, but it's consistently not good. Yeah. So, um, it's okay. I'll say it's never good to come to Epcot on an empty stomach because you walk around this place and everything smells good. Like, it makes you very hungry just walking around here and yeah. seeing everything. So I think we are definitely going to have to eat some food here today. Um, that being said, I did see Disney did announce that Coral Reef over at the front of the park did get a brand new menu. Ooh. And we looked and we were actually able to get a reservation. So yeah. I think eventually we're going to make our way over there to try out some of their new food items. But so far, so good. We've had a really fun day here today. Well, Goo, it looks like we have finally arrived at what can only be described as the pinnacle of your good enjoyment. Yeah. Well, the mecca of useless junk. The Mexico Pavilion. See, every good thing, every good quality merchandise has to be as useless junk to him. Not a lot. So he, I mean, he's very I'll, I'll be the judge of that when we yeah. get inside. But apparently they have a new collection of three Cabrera's merchandise. So, I don't know, maybe we'll go in there, maybe we'll see some of it. You never know, we can always ride the ride too. So oh, maybe. Just kind of see what we do. Yeah. Coming inside, look at this. Look at this blanket. Oh, that's so cool. It has the three cabrillos on it that's and it incredible. says something. It says Saludos Amigos. That's one of the, that's a movie. Mm -hmm. The movie that came with, or like, it was somehow had some connection to three cabrillos. Yeah, yeah. But I do really like this. Oh, yeah. This it's one, it's a boat. Merchandise. A boat from the ride. Yeah. And it has three cabaros in it. I like how it has um, the Mexico logo on the side mm -hmm. of it. Yeah. So, this I is cool. I will say, it's a little bit, what's it, like $50, $40. $40, $40 so, I don't well, know. I guess it's not that You think terrible. about it. You're getting three plushes. Yeah. You're getting a boat. It's a pretty cool thing. Yeah. But, yeah, for some reason, they're just, there are lots of three cabrero stuff is happening here. Mm-hmm. But look at the shirt. All over it. This is incredible. I'm sure. Yeah. A lot of the sizes are sold out. $64.99. So, sadly, I don't think I can get this. A lot of the sizes are sold out. They've been out. making a lot of these shirts lately. Like, yeah. just of everything, which I kind of like to see. Yeah, I like Very the nice. Muppets one. Mm. But you see you have flowers. You have all the three cabreros yeah. all over it. They also have a Turvis here. Oh, that's so the cool. three cabreros on it. Some musical notes around it in the Mexico <laughs> Pavilion. That's fun. Epcot World Showcase. Yeah. Very nice. These ears were released a couple weeks ago but I guess they're all part of the collection. But I love all the colors here. Um, I think the one in Disneyland lit up. I might be wrong. Yeah, yeah. You also have a lounge fly that matches it. You have the pyramid in the background. Yeah, I like that. That's so cool. That's pretty cool, yeah. Yeah, I'll and then that's the guy from, from somewhere. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let, let us know in the comments who that guy is. Yeah, yeah. And you do have this kid's youth shirt. I wish this was an adult. I love the World Showcase logo on it. That's awesome. This is incredible. It's yeah. engraved on it. $69.99, so it's, it's all not embroidered. Yeah. Nothing on the back, so it's kind of subtle, mm -hmm. but that's pretty cool. Look oh, at this. that's so cool. Viva Mexico. And it has the three cameras oh, on the back on a that's flying so carpet. We need a hat. Yeah. I don't yeah. know why we don't have a hat. Oh, does this like, um, oh, glows in the dark. Oh, wow. 
I didn't hmm. know that about the ears. That's pretty cool. Interesting. Maybe the fireworks. Yeah. yeah. And then you do have, I don't know if this is like a... It's like a crump. Yeah. 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 But still pretty cool. I love we're getting more merchandise. Yeah. I always wanted to come here and get this case of hot sauce and like see how much of them I could take. Yeah. But that's very cool. Let's see if we can open it up and yeah. see. Yeah. Oh, there's a ghost pepper. Ghost pepper, yeah. jalapeno. Habanero and jalapeno. Yeah. So. But they, they have so many different snacks. I love seeing like these candy bars, all kinds of different stuff like from Mexico, which mm -hmm. is super cool to see. I'll say the plush set with all the characters. I saw that the other day. I was like, I saw it when it first came out. And like, it was flying off the shelves. Like this is a very popular collection. So I don't know, it's kind of cool to see the three Caballeros getting love. I, I love seeing this here today. So um, I hope we have some more of this collection. This is incredible. You also do have this newer collection, I guess for Mexico with Minnie Mouse, which I feel like they are doing like a Minnie Mouse collection for every single pavilion at mm -hmm. this point. No lug bag yet, but. Kind of a nice some ornament Some nice here. ornaments. Yeah. This bag's pretty cool. Oh yeah. That's pretty fun. Also have these new ears, which I, I haven't seen those before, but they've probably been around for oh, a little bit. Look at this. Oh, that's fun. There's Mickey and Minnie on the back. Yeah. And then the hood is kind of flat. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. yeah. To zip up right there. Though it's not part of any of the collections, I really do like this glass. It's kind of hard oh, to see. It's three cabinets. But, um, Let me see if I can... Yeah. I don't know if that helps at all. A little bit, yeah. You, uh, that helps. Go back to where you're behind it. Put your hand behind it. Oh, there's the birds on yeah. it. All the different kind of three see them. Yeah. That's, I like the cactus. I love that this like stem yeah. of it is cactus mm -hmm. um, in the glass store. It's only 20, 27, I guess, is a little pricier, but still pretty cool. I gotta say, something magical happened in there. An Epcot miracle, if you will. What? You didn't buy anything. That's right. Yeah. 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 Goo, if you've seen our videos or streams in the past, he kind of enjoys buying a lot of stuff. I don't so the fact much. that you didn't buy anything no. is pretty um, crazy. I'll say there probably would have been a destruction of my pocketbook yeah. had there have been my size in that button up shirt. That is true, yeah. But um, I love the Three Cabrera's merchandise. Just keep it up. That's my that's my request. Looking at the time right now, it is about 5.15, and I think our reservation is at 6.10. So we've got a little bit less than an hour. Yeah. What do you think of that, Goo? So I was thinking through, I was looking at wait times. Mm -hmm. Test track dropped down to 40 minutes. Oh, wow. So I know I wanted to get it in before it closes, try and ride it as many times as possible. Mm -hmm. So it might be worth going over there, riding that a couple yeah. of times. I think it's going to close yeah. like June 17th Something or 10th like or yeah. somewhere around there. So we might as well commemorate it. But I hope this hour goes quickly because it seems like Goo is getting kind of hangry. I am. Yeah. yeah. But it's fun. It makes it worse walking around, like smelling all the food boots. Mm -hmm. but We'll get fed soon enough. So when this ride does close, I believe they will be doing like a complete overhaul. Like it'll be completely different. Yeah. They'll be drawing inspiration from the ride that was originally here, which is called World of Motion. I've also heard rumors that like this track up here will be closed in so that they don't have to close for weather. Because yeah. anytime there's bad weather, they always have to close. There's lots of rumors going around about this place. Yeah. Uh, we do know by concept art that this whole structure will be gone. Yeah, yeah. It's like canopy thing. Yeah, this thing here. So. That's pretty cool. Yeah. I'm excited for the next one. I wasn't a big fan of this version of the ride. Mm -hmm. so. But we, we have to historicate it. We have to enjoy it. I so. feel like the new one could be either very good or very bad. Yeah. So we're going to find out. We'll be here when it reopens. But for now, I present to you Test Track 2.0. Yeah, 2.0. There you go. Nice ride. Now they do also have a single rider, which actually normally works really good. There's not normally a ton of people. Oh, is that single rider there? Or is that lightning line? This right here. Oh, that's that's lightning line. Okay, so yes. One thing about single rider is you are separated from the rest of your party, so I won't get to ride with you. But you can still do these things. You can still create your own car. It's much limited. Like you don't have yeah yeah things. I say we just go on. Yeah, let's just go on. Four. Four. Hello. The seatbelt check is around the corner. For your safety, remain seated with your seatbelt fastened and your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the vehicle at all times. And please supervise children. Thank you. Automated driving technology activated. Welcome to the sim track. Commencing sim car off-road and extreme weather sequence. Capability test results displayed and verified. Engaging EcoScan for aerodynamic efficiency. Drive systems analysis. Hyperspectral imaging in progress. 
progress. Calculating total enviro impact. Ah! Automated crash avoidance technology disengaged. Displaying responsiveness data. Here comes the final test. Energizing for power test. Your Chevrolet custom concept vehicle designs compared with the SIM card after you disembark. Please watch your step as you exit, and remember to take all your personal belongings with you. Be sure to check your final performance numbers in our scoring area. Well, that was test track. Yeah, and we, How'd were, you like that we were separated, but we were. I think it ended up working good. We literally walked on, mm -hmm. um, like, if anything, a five minute wait. Yeah, so that's yeah. Very cool. Barely so, even that. If you're here at Epcot and you want to ride Test Track, that's my biggest recommendation. If you're willing to sit separately, do the single rider. That's the good tip of the day. And I will also say, if you still want to be able to create your own car, yeah. I think somewhere in here in the exit, yeah. they have a thing where you can come so create it so you can come in here. Doing your magic band. Yeah, and then you go get in the single yeah. rider line. I scanned my um, card even yeah. though I didn't have a car. And I think it like generated one for yeah, me, yeah, like a created one, that. and I got first place. What? So there you go. How'd you do? It didn't come up. Nice. Yeah. Well, either way, lots of fun. Yeah, very fun. Yeah. Look, you can also come over here and scan, and it like creates your car on here, and then you can drive it around. What's it doing? I think I broke it. You broke it. I don't have a car, so. I... Oh, it did something. Hold on. Let's see. Race mode initiated. Oh. Yay. Here's your car. Oh, look. There, we go. there it is. So I use this goofy thing here. Oh, there we go. Mm -hmm. you use, that's your accelerator and then your steering wheel. And you just drive around. Oh, that's so fun. Yeah. Lots of interactive things in this um, exit here. They also have a car showcase in here. Yeah. And you can actually buy cars. Maybe we should buy a car. Maybe we should, yeah. That'll be a fun video of buying a car at Epcot. Mm -hmm. Here's a look at the very limited test track merchandise. Yeah, they don't have very much of it left. Yeah. They have this like hood, hooded shirt thing. This, is cool. this, this like Hot Wheel type yeah. die cast vehicle. I want one of these here. Oh yeah. It's a remote control car. Look at that, yeah. A remote control yeah. ride vehicle, that's pretty cool. 20, 20, 29 dollars These are going to be sold out by the time this oh, thing's Yeah, out. definitely, yeah. yeah. Very cool. Coming out of Test Track, it is officially time to check in for our reservation. I believe it is currently 545 and our reservation is at 605. You can check in 20 minutes early. So it is time to check in yeah. for Coral Reef. It's been a long time since we've been to Coral Reef. I, I don't remember when you went here. I came without you. Okay, but I came without you too. The important thing is we've never come together and given it a fair shakedown yeah. on camera. So that's what we're here to do today. Coral Reef is one of those places where like, of course the atmosphere is fun, yeah. but it never like blew me away with food. Yeah. So this will be kind of another fair reassessment. Mm. The new food the new food items look good. I'm gonna give them a fair shake. Yeah, fair they do have some new items. Day. So with that being said, we are gonna check in. We're gonna go get our table and I'm excited. I'm hungry. Yeah. So I guess we're gonna go in. It'll be a good experience. Yeah. Oh, the menu. Look at the, that's cool. such a cool, like, that's such a cool panel. I like those. Like this is kind of, Classic Epcot, mm -hmm. but oh, coconut pineapple coconut bread pudding. Oh, that sounds kind of good. Yeah, the mm -hmm. key west, or the key lime tart thing, I think is new. Yeah, that's supposed yeah. to be new. We'll kind of talk through all the new stuff when we get to our table, mm -hmm. but so far so good. The theming is always like the best part of this restaurant. Yeah. Look, the door handles. Oh, those are so doors. cool. Look at this. Oh, wonderful. Oh, it's very cool in here. I love this. Seashells. The seashells, like the layers of the. And then nice. that's the desk right there. And then like, over here is where the water is. I feel like we didn't properly explain it, but Coral Reef is yeah. kind of like a restaurant. 
it within an aquarium. So you kind of get to eat food while watching the fish come by you. So it's a very cool experience. Hopefully we'll see some some different fish coming around. And our table is ready. Oh, our table is ready. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, look at this place. I seriously can't believe this. We got seated. Dinner with a view. Oh, a stingray right there. There's a stingray right here. Right next to us. Oh. No, let me take it. Yeah, let me get back. Look at that. Like, so close I could touch it if the glass wasn't here. This is incredible. Wow. Oh. Oh, smiling face. Now go up, ready. Look at this. Look at the face. That's incredible. Wow. Very cool. Show off, huh? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> blow off, blow off the thing. Yeah. <laughs> well, first of all, this view is incredible. Yeah. Um, showing you the restaurant. The restaurant has like three layers, so we're incredibly lucky to get this kind of seat here. Mm -hmm. um, I'm sure you can try and request. It's not always guaranteed, yeah. but we didn't request at all, and we were just given this table, mm -hmm. which is incredible. That being said, we are here to try some of the newer food items, and you can see, I believe the chicken wings are new. So yeah. the chicken wings. And the um, sweet corn bisque. The sweet corn bisque and the coconut fried shrimp, yeah. which I guess are all new appetizers. For entrees, the seafood boil, I believe, is returning, so I think they had it before. I believe the mojo chicken is new as well. I guess we have some deciding to do. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Well, look, they have non-alcoholic specialty drinks, too. Oh, cool. Yeah, the Shark Tank. That sounds good. It's just... Oh, it's just a lemonade inspired by underwater sea life as seen in the aquarium. So I don't know if it's just a lemonade. It doesn't yeah. say what flavor it is. I'll say the pineapple sunset looks very good. It's a mixture of tropical flavors, orange juice, ginger beer, and Sprite. Yeah. So there's, there's a lot of options here, which mm. is very cool. Oh, here he comes again. <laughs> Our server told us that um, he, he pretty much never moves. Yeah. So what can I rare to see him moving all around? You can also see inside the tank, look, there's people scuba diving. That's like the um, the dive quest experience or something like that. You have to be scuba cer certified. If I could be scuba certified, yeah. I would be doing that, but yeah. I'm not. Mm -hmm. so this is the best thing I get. Yeah. Look, you can see there's two of the stingrays and they're fighting over the space. Also, there's a diver up close. Yeah, they're, they're Very cool. But Goose special drink guy here. You got that sunset or whatever yeah. it was with the I tropical love, juices. They've definitely like upgraded the entire like glass. Yeah, like, that is a cool. Cup. This is a very cool glass. Yeah, yeah. Look at the water. The water cups are pretty neat too. Yeah. And I've been informed by our server that this water is taken from the tank. Yeah. So. What more could you want? This is great. He also said we have to go dive for our food. Yeah. So well, we'll have to I do that soon. Fish, so. Well, you yeah. can dive for mine then. I'm going to try my drink. Yeah. Oh, that's really good. Yeah. It looks good. It's very refreshing. Mm. We're definitely getting the ginger beer, but it's very fruity. It's very good. I love this. Interesting. We also got a bread here, a pineapple yeah. coconut bread. It looks with, like the Ohana bread. Yeah, yeah. I think he said there's like orange or citrus butter or something like that. He said it was very good. He said we would like it. I hope he didn't lie to us. I will say, I'm not a huge fan of pineapple coconut. Um, I liked the old Ohana bread, but I feel like the new one has too much pineapple. This one looks kind of like the old Ohana bread. Yeah. So that would be nice if it is. Let me get some of the butter here. Give it a try. It is good. It has a really nice sweetness to it, a good texture. You don't get too much of the coconut. I feel like it's more pineapple-y than coconut. But it's nice, it doesn't have like the texture of coconut or pineapple in it, which I feel like they do sometimes, like they'll put actual pieces. This they didn't do that with, so I'm happy with this. All right, our first course has arrived here. These look very good. This is yeah. the coconut shrimp, I believe. And these are the jerk wings. They're, um, I think Goo has a description. They're grilled chicken wings with a Jamaican spice rum glaze. They look good. So those huh? look really good. Yeah. These have a mango chutney next to it, too, Ooh. so you kind of get a little bit of everything. Mm -hmm. but I'll say the shrimp was $18 and the wings were $15. Yeah. Which I mean, you're getting what, six wings. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. I About what you would expect at Disney, I yeah. guess. Yeah. But I'm going to go in for the shrimp. Yeah, might as well. So I'll get some of the mango on it. Itself is like what you expect for coconut shrimp. The mango chutney offers like a fresh flavor that works really nicely with it. Yep, it's what you expect, and I feel like that's what most people are gonna want from this, so that's really yeah. good. There's the wings. I'm really excited to try one of these. They look very good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get into one. Yeah. Let's see. Give them. Oh. 
it's really good. It has a little bit of like a crisp, a crisp on the out, has a little bit of a crisp on the outside, but you get like a sweetness from the rum glaze. It really does taste like rum. They're very good. Now while we were eating our appetizers, it looks like our entrees had also arrived. Mm -hmm. I'll let Matt finish his wing and then I'll pull up the description so we can talk about our food. So this right here is the Mojo Chicken. It has Caribbean rice under it with black eyed peas and crispy garlic plantains. So this looks very good, you can see. Looks very, very nice fresh chicken on a bone. Looks pretty good to me. Matt went with their signature dish, the surf and turf. It looks good, I'll say it's kind of a small portion. This was $38, Yeah. so do with that what you will. Maybe once I start eating it, I'll change my mind. So as a filet and then shrimp. A four ounce filet and yep. then three shrimp and some uh, mashed potatoes. It looks pretty good. It's just a little bit of a smaller portion, but we'll see. I feel like the filet used to be like one of their signature things they used I to have so, here. Yeah. Uh, you can't get the filet by itself anymore, mm -hmm. so good to note. Looks like Goo likes the wings. He said he compared them to bourbon chicken. So if you like bourbon chicken, I feel like everyone likes bourbon chicken. Like if you go to the mall, and yeah. you get the chicken. Mm -hmm. and the very sweet, but also very, I don't know, sweet and savory. Yeah. All right, this steak looks really good. It's cooked nicely. We're gonna give it a try and see how it tastes. That's really good. It has a nice flavor on the outside. Very tender. I think this chimichurri, I didn't realize this chimichurri is really nice too. I don't remember what it was. We'll have to look at the menu when Goo gets back. But this is really good. Wow. I wasn't expecting that. The mashed potatoes, I think, are standard Disney mashed potatoes. They're good, but they're nothing different than what you'll get at other restaurants or like on the buffet or whatever. But Goo over here. He's going to try his jerk chicken, it looks like, or he got some rice. I'm going to try everything individually first. Yeah. That rice is good. Yeah, it looks good. The chimichurri on my steak was really nice. I was surprised. So hopefully this will be good too. Now I will say the chicken is on a bone. Yep. So if you're wondering about that, it is on the bone. Seasoned really good though. Hmm. Looks like yours also has plantain chips with it. That's interesting. Yep. Are those good? Everything really goes good together. Mm -hmm. It's one of those things where you get like the sweetness, you get the saltiness. Yeah. Everything works really well. So are the plantain chips sweet or? They're honestly nothing special, hmm. but they work good with the flavors. Yeah. I'll give you credit for that. Yeah. Well, Matt has officially cleaned his plate. Yeah. And our server came by and said, oh, can I bring you a dessert menu? And I said, no. No. I already know what dessert I want. Yeah. The pineapple coconut bread pudding. I was just about to look at it on the menu. We saw it earlier. Here it is. It's um, pineapple coconut bread pudding with vanilla ice cream and a warm rum caramel oh. and shaved coconut. So it sounds really good. It's 10 bucks. Yeah, I don't know if this is new or what it is, but um, it sounds interesting to yeah, me. Whatever it is, we had to get it. The problem is there's been so many pineapple bread puddings throughout Disney property for yeah. the past five years. Mm -hmm. So we'll see if this is really unique enough to stand out yeah. to all of them. If it's... I, I have a sneaking suspicion it's probably made with the bread that they brought us earlier. Yep. And if it is, it'll probably be very good. Yeah. Well, it looks like our dessert has officially arrived. This looks pretty good. We'll see. I'm going to dig in. Give us some long spoons. I guess I could, like, yeah, I could, I could like, do it. Back. I could reach over and take something from the table next to us. Yeah. It's a little, um, a little tough. But let's get into this thing. Here we go. That's really rummy. You get the rum, you get the caramel. I think it's a good flavor, I like it. The first thing I notice is, there's not a lot of like texture like you would like. Yeah. It's a very smooth bread pudding. Uh, flavor is very good. Some of it is a little bit tough, which I feel like, um, I don't know if that's just an issue with. Yeah, like the bread itself Yeah, the is bread itself tough, is yeah. kind of tough and hard to get into. Flavor is good, I just don't know, maybe it wasn't as fresh as it could have been. I feel like this has a lot of potential, but um, yeah, I'm not sure if it's reaching it. I'll say it does succeed in being like a different bread pudding. Um, I kind of expect it to be either like Sebastian's or Ohana. It is completely different. It is its own thing, which I appreciate. And um, I like it. Yeah, the flavor um, is good. Well, the saddest part of our meal has officially arrived. The bill, and you can see, coming together without any discounts whatsoever. It is about $128. Yeah, that's before tax and tip yeah, as well. before tax and tip. So. Or, I think there's tax, right? Uh, that's before tip. Yeah, that's before That's before, before tip. discount or tip. Yeah. yeah. 
$128.10. So, I mean, that's what you expect. We got a lot of food. We yeah. tried everything. Yeah. Two appetizers, two entrees, a dessert. A specialty a drink. drink. Yeah. I'll say you also are paying for the atmosphere. This is absolutely incredible to be sitting here next to all these fish. But um, I'll say if you come here, you're not guaranteed this kind of seat. And I feel like if you are put to the very top, it could be a very different experience. Yeah, maybe. I like the way the dividers are like waves, though. Yeah. They're like, yeah, they're waves. A lot of a lot of work, a lot of thoughtful work was put into this restaurant. I also do really love the carpet in here. I think that's so cool. Um, so much detail. I love even the walls. You can see like all this detail they put into making this place. So. Uh, even if you don't have a huge, great view of the aquarium, there's just a lot of thought put into this place, which I appreciate. Look at this sign. The seashells used here were harvested in farms under control of Australian Ocean Authority and developed under a very strict, environmentally sound program. Oh, that's interesting. That's so, even like the, um, the sign is made of like so different like shells. Actual seashells, yeah. So all the shells used in this restaurant, that's so cool. Yeah, very nice. All these lights. I love the details in this restaurant. I know, but it's it's just cool. Yeah. I like the um at the host stand. It's an octopus. Giant thing. octopus. That's fun. Well, Coral Reef has turned over a new reef. I think so. As I say. Yeah. Um, it was different. Like it wasn't what they used to have. The food was completely different. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. I feel like they're definitely going for more of like a um, tropical. Like a tropical. Yeah. Um, uh, food reminded me of things you'd find at Caribbean Beach, which yeah. I thought was pretty fun to see. I think it worked. Yeah, I think it works. Everything I had was good. I don't think everything was great. Mm -hmm. So it's not like five star excellent food. Yeah, it's not but like Vigo like, or Flying yeah. Fish or something like that. I don't I don't think it's on the level of like Steakhouse 71 either, where it's like kind of not signature but also very good. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's just good food, not great food, and a really great experience. So yeah, like I said in yeah. there, if you put together the ambience and like the aquarium and the food and all that, I love I think it's a decent package. The dish work. I thought mm -hmm. that was just a fun little change that yeah. I didn't notice last time. Yeah. Um the drink I had was fantastic. The bread service was good. I like those wings. The wings were pretty yeah, good. Yeah. But overall, I think it was a very fun experience. I, I'd never dine there, like, right next to the fish. It was such a cool experience to see all the fish come by. Mm -hmm. um, there were sharks. There were those things that were going yeah. around. It was good. It was a very fun, very fun meal. Yeah. So coming out of our dinner, we did come over to the World Celebration Gardens. I think these are. We're going to get a little bit of an update. We'll check out Community Core Hall in a second. But I did want to point out over here, I had mentioned the acrobats earlier. This is where the acrobats do their acrobatting or whatever yeah. it would be called. It's like a giant globe, I think, under that. Yeah, part. yeah. I mean, it spins, spins or spin something it. like that. I don't know. Yeah. We gotta come someday. Yeah. They do so. it Saturday through Wednesday, yep. I think, Saturday and pretty much Wednesday. just in the morning. Yeah. So we'll have to get lucky sometime. Yeah. But it's fun to having more entertainment. That's fun. And over here, looking at Communicor Hall, it looks like it's really coming along. Yeah. You can see all this is done. This is gonna be like the outside. That's. I think where the stage is. That's Communicor Plaza. That's Communicor yeah. Plaza. Yeah. Whatever this. Yeah. yeah. And then over right next to it's Communicor Hall. Yeah, the inside area there. We got a view of it on the monorail, so I'll put some of the footage over right mm -hmm. now. But um, the stage is all ready. That's where the Encanto show is going to go. Um, it appears as if it's, like, done at this point. Yeah, so, yeah. like, I don't know. They're opening in a month. June 10th is when it's opening. Yeah. So I guess we'll see if... I don't think they're going to open early, but I do think... They'll probably take the walls down early. Yeah, that's my... So you can theory. walk through this area, but you won't be able to go in Community yeah. Core Hall itself. That's what they did for um, Connections Cafe when yeah. it opened. They mm -hmm. blacked out the windows, took down the walls. Yeah, yeah. So you can kind of see the idea of the outside of Community Core Hall. You can see some of the panels are covered up and some of them are left open. I believe that's done intentionally. It's left undone to symbolize that Epcot will never be completed. Yeah. So that's kind of interesting. You can go. also see behind this tree right here. Let me see if I can get a better view. There is a sign for the Mickey. I don't know how well you can see it, but that's where the um, meet and greet's gonna be, yep. Mickey and friends. So Mickey will finally have a spot to meet. Yeah, yeah, instead of just in the corner in that theater yeah. over by Figment. But this is exciting. I know they were testing. Some of these panels light up. Too. Yeah, yeah. So it's very cool when, it, when they're testing it. So mm -hmm. I'm excited for this to be done. You can see a little bit better of a view of the sign from over here. You can see it says Mickey and Friends. Also behind it, you can see like that wall has a little bit of a mural on it. You can't really see any of it right now, but there's different like um, ride vehicles and different things from Epcot Reference past and says, present. Yeah. 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 
So I think it's going to be cool. Yeah. We'll see how this happens. This will be opening officially June 10th. Mm -hmm. And so we will be here. Then, we're going to wait. Yeah. As we mentioned earlier, it is the VI Pass Holder Days. Mm -hmm. So they are doing some different Pass Holder festivities. And if you go to this photo pass person over here, right in front of the, the figment, that is where they will give you a giant Mickey bar photo prop that has the Pass Holder logo on it. So, yeah, that's Pass Holder yeah, exclusive. Pass Holder yeah, exclusive. Pass Holder to use it. So that's cool. So if you are a Pass Holder, you can come here and hold a giant Mickey bar yeah. in front of a space or birth. That's so fun. So it looks like the line for the Pass Holder Magnet is still over here. It looks like, like it has extended quite a bit. Yeah. So, the, yeah. Like all you're doing is getting a magnet. I'm tempted so. to have you go get your magnet and mm -hmm. I'll go get this picture. Yeah, I think that's So good. I think that's a good yeah, plan. We'll so goodbye, Matt. Goodbye. We'll see you with your magnet. We're going to go get a picture. So I believe to get the Pass Holder photo prop, you do have to show your annual pass. So I have this ready. And once we get up here, we'll just get our picture. It's, a, it's that simple. Well, that was great. I got a picture with the Mickey bar. Um, that was fun. I, I love all the photo ops. I love when they give you like physical photo ops. Um, I think there actually was a magic shot too. So I'll try and like insert the photos as we're standing here. But I just love it when they do like those actual photo ops that you can hold things. Um, they actually have the flower garden one too. Oh, Matt's here. There we go. Did you get your picture? I did. Gosh, was it nice? Yeah, it was nice. Gosh. Did you get your magnet? I did. Oh. There it is. There's Stitch himself. I don't, I don't really like the style of yeah. Stitch, but that's not a bag magnet. They're kind of magnet. trying to do like the design of like the Mickey cartoons. Yeah, like the new Mickey where yeah. Goofy looks, I don't know, like he's hasn't slept in months. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Yeah. That's but different, but. I think it worked well with the Figment one. I like the Figment one. Yeah, yeah. But um, some of them don't translate incredibly well. It's all right. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it's free, so yeah. can't complain. Add it to the collection. Yeah. I like how they made me um, take a bite out of the Mickey yeah, bar, too. Yeah. That's fun. We need more photo ops like this. Mm -hmm. oh. We need a churro. Yeah, we need a churro. Well, it's been a very eventful day. Yeah. I think we're going to head towards the front of the park, give a greeting to Spaceship Earth. Um, but I think it's been such a great day. We're glad we could bring you all along mm -hmm. and hopefully you enjoyed all the festivities. We got to eat, we got to check out the Pass Alert Lounge, and we, we got, got to, to check out Test Track. Oh, Test Track. Yeah. That was fun. I love Spaceship Earth when the sun is setting. But it's really cool if you guys haven't seen it before. Later, when it gets darker, all of Spaceship Earth lights up too, so it's very cool to see um, all the different times you can look at Spaceship Earth. All the pavilion and flags out front. It has been a very fun day here today. Well, there we go. Thank you all so much for coming along here today. It was a very fun day. We got a lot done. We enjoyed a lot. We had a lot of fun. That being said, thank you all so much for coming along. If you guys haven't yet, make sure you do subscribe. Also, make sure you do hit that like button. Every single like will be a huge help to us. We will see you guys in the next video. And as usual, I'm Goo. I'm Matt. That's Spaceship Earth. New. And you're you. And we both wish a Goo to each other. Hopefully you all have a great rest of your day. We will see you guys later. And um, yeah, thanks everybody.